Hello and welcome. This is Kara Brandon and I am here today to do a little quick kind of create with one of the pages from my new kit, the farmhouse kit. Um, I thought I would show kind of what I had in mind when I made this page. So I printed it out and I actually printed it a couple times because I think I want to have it in my journal more than once. So, when you cut out the pieces, <clears throat> you'll have the ephemera, but then you'll have this piece and then this piece, and there are faint lines to kind of help you score the, you know, the folds. And then this piece will go here. Now you can stop here and embellish this a little bit more and, um, you know, decorate the tag, and then you have a pocket tag or what I was thinking when I made it was then you can add this additional piece and then you have two tuck spots um, and then even if you did something like backing it this could be a floating tag within your journal so that was kind of my thought so I thought we would go ahead and make a couple oh and let me show you so I picked up my cover I'm gonna do a Reader's Digest. I'm really bummed when I was cutting out my the big the book, the insert insides, words are hard. <laughs> I cut it, so I'm gonna to have to fix that somehow. But isn't this inside just perfect? And then this matches the kit as well. I mean, look at these colors, it's perfect. Um, so since it's a, sorry, I totally got sidetracked. We're coming back to that. Since this is a Reader's Digest, I, I mean, you could just cut off the edges of the page, uh, but I didn't really want to. I wanted to shrink my pages down. So I tried it, scaling it a, diff, a couple different ways. This one I scaled at 85%, and when I cut it down, it was fine. I just felt like there was a little bit too narrow of a gap to the end of the book. So then this one is 90%, and it fits this way just fine, especially if I wanted to add lace, but I think I'm gonna to have to trim either the top or the bottom of the pages because the height is a little, it just matches the book a little too close. So uh, that's scaling it down to 90%. And I'm gonna guess since printing on printers, if <laughs> the colors come out so differently, I'm gonna guess uh, scaling <laughs> your images will also affect um, you know, the size. So my 90% might not be necessarily your 90%, but um, now I'll just have to go back and trim all of my journal pages to get them ready for the journal. All right, that was a little sidetrack. And I also pulled out some tattered rows. I wanted to see if this color goes with the color in the kit. So let's just kind of give it a try. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's fun. Rose is great. Operate. I've had quite a few new people stop by, which is super exciting. Um, I would love for you to be notified when I put up a new video. So 
go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're interested and then the notification bell right next to it. That would be fun to see you back here again. And also on in the description, I will have my uh, the design team who will also be working with this kit to also get even more crafty inspiration um, with the farmhouse kit. Super, super exciting to see what everyone makes. Right. Oh, shoot, you know what I was gonna do? All right, I was going to. forget to do that I get talking and then when I do it <laughs> it's always off center because most of it is stuck to oh, the tag oh, I forgot to ink that part too my goodness could wrap those around if you wanted or you could even cut them off either way just depends on what you want for your pocket I think I'm gonna do a little extra smooshing stash I have some of this ribbon boutique from where's it from either Joann's or Hobby Lobby I got it on sale and I just love the pinking stripe it's my favorite wide tag. Do we want a big wide tag? I'm going to trim some of this off. Start here and see what it looks like. Yeah, I like that better. This ledger I thought was really fun. It's um, like a ledger that must have been used on the farm somewhere because it kind of keeps track of the months and the days that things were sold and pretty cool. It's hard to tell all, all that it says. All right, so I'm gonna fold it down. And then let's see. My little rooster guy. And I also have a label. Kind of pull in some of the black. Oops, I'm probably off camera. Pull in some of the black from up there to down here. And in my stash, I also had the seam binding which is the perfect color. I'm just gonna wrap that around and glue it on the front, and then a little bit on the back. Here, like that. 
gonna stitch around it probably if it will go through all this and I want something else up here let me be right back all right I'm back so I did some stitching until my <laughs> sewing machine said it didn't want to go through the rest of this I may try it or we'll just leave it as is not I don't want to push my luck <laughs> All right, so then I went through some of my things and I have this metal charm and, and then I thought, well, what am I gonna put inside of it? So I went through my, what is it? Tim Holtz Field and the Field, the Itty Bitty Field, what is it? Anyway, the Itty Bitty, oh, this one is Ensemble Snippets, I'm not sure. And there's this tiny 90 cent um, little label. And I'm gonna put that inside because I didn't have a punch that was this small for to punch something out. So that's why I had to kind of go hunting. <laughs> and I think this will be perfect. Just gonna glue that in there. And then I have a Tim Holtz safety pin. And I'm gonna attach this like that. Do I need a, I might need a, here, let's put them down first. There we go. We'll attach this back. Yeah, I might need a ring. And then I was gonna put this, five, four, maybe I'll put that on the other side. I'm gonna staple this on, actually. I think that will look good. Okay, whoops, staple down here. Smush those down just to give a little balance. Since I have staples on the top, I'll have a staple on the bottom. All right, so back to the jump ring. I can kind of dangle right next to that and then I'm gonna make some tags but I don't have the tags to go in here yet and then the other thing I wanted to show you was you don't have to obviously use all the pieces um, to make the tag so I went through my stash and this is a seven gypsies paper from like 2018 I've had in my stash and I thought this would be cute just with this front one like that and then you could still have a tag in the front. And that's another way to kind of extend the kit make it look a little different. Let's add just high in the peach again. Some right with it. Tag it around. Do the same on this one. I'm just going to use this one and this one together. And these tags wouldn't necessarily have to go in a farmhouse kit. This one, <laughs> this one might because you see the chicken wire makes it kind of farmhousey, but. Some of the vintage 
photo to kind of tie it together. And then, I think I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do something a little different. Cut that off. I'm going to uh, stitch this on, or we could just glue it. Yeah, let's just glue it. I think we'll stitch it later. back and I did some sewing around this one. I like how the layered fabrics look, ribbon. And then I went and made this one and I found at Dollar Tree, oh probably last spring or before, I don't remember. Anyway, they had this farmhouse uh, ribbon that I picked up, thought it was perfect. And then I wanted a little splash of yellow on this tag so I found from my rainbow kit, the ephemera, there's this little butterfly that I thought was perfect. And then I just added from the label, a little dangle. So now I have three different pockets that I can use in my journal when it's ready to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> kind of quick create. <laughs> and uh, come on back. Oh, and this Friday, it's the freebie Friday is going to be based on the farmhouse kit. So come on back for that and I will see you then. Bye-bye. Have a wonderfully crafty day.